storms are on the way. They're going to hold off, though, until late this afternoon toward the evening hours. We're dealing with a lot of wind today, though. You're going to be battling this on the roads for sure. A stiff south wind gusting at times close to 40 miles per hour all across the state. Even higher gusts there across northwest Iowa. So this is leading to a wind advisory. Right through 6 p.m. for these blue shaded counties. It does not include Polk County, but we can still see gusts close to 40 at times 45 miles per hour. After sunset, we'll get the cold front coming through, and that's going to shift our winds, and the high wind threat will come to an end late tonight. The red flag warning continues for pretty much the entire state due to the very dry conditions and all of the wind out there. So don't do any burning today. Any fires that are accidentally set will be spreading quickly, so stay aware today. Temperatures are really heating up. We're already in the mid 70s, some 20 degrees warmer than we should be for the average highs for today, and we're climbing today into the low 80s. It's going to feel like summer with plenty of sunshine and those gusty winds. Storminess rolls in here late this evening, overnight. Some rainfall could be locally heavy at times. The showers move out by mid morning tomorrow, and temperatures won't be quite as warm as we head through the rest of the week, but it's still going to be a nice stretch of weather. Right now, it's beautiful. Sunshine, 75 degrees. When you take the wind out of the forecast, it looks like a beautiful day, but just step outdoors, and we're going to be fighting that wind all day long. Now, later on this afternoon, storms will roll into northwest Iowa beginning at 4 o'clock. Around the Sioux City area, we'll see a band of thunderstorms developing. Those will be inching in across northwest Iowa through 6, 7 o'clock. By around 9 o'clock, they will approach I-35. So they're going to be kind of a slow go of it, moving off to the east overnight, arriving here in central Iowa probably after 10 o'clock, closer to midnight. The rain then pushes pretty quickly off to the east. So by 6 a.m. tomorrow, most of the showers should be out of here, and we'll even see a little bit of sunshine on Thursday. Now, the rain totals have even come down, too. Generally, about a half an inch of rainfall will be common across the area, three quarters of an inch, although if you do get a heavier or stronger thunderstorm, you could pick up maybe one to two inches of rainfall. We're not expecting a widespread severe weather threat either since the storms will be coming in late, but we still could see a few hail producers and some gusty winds at least early this evening, and then as it moves to the east, mainly just some rainfall, but already overnight and early morning thunderstorms to the south are kind of gobbling up the moisture. You can see the boundary there, though, outlined with the clouds from Minnesota back through Nebraska, and that's the one that will be triggering our storms later on. On. Right now, we're waiting for the moisture. The dew point in Kansas City now at 52, while here in central Iowa it's still pretty dry. Our dew point is at 37, so if the moisture comes in, we'll get a little bit more rain. And if it doesn't, then rainfall totals will be less. 82 degrees. Much of the day is going to be just fine except for the wind. The storms roll in late this afternoon across western Iowa, arriving in central Iowa here closer to our 10 o'clock or midnight. 50, 60 overnight low temp. Tomorrow the showers move out. Headed for 68. Here's your eight day forecast, and things are actually looking very soggy as we go through the first few days here of April. The weekend, great timing. Looks like mainly dry conditions for your Easter plans, but those showers move right back in for next week. Okay, so Easter egg hunts, you don't have to need, uh, you don't need an umbrella. It looks good this time. Okay, good. Thanks a lot.